President Trump is expected to roll out his final budget plan next week, a budget that calls for broad cuts across many agencies, including the EPA. Our Mary Mills tonight told why critics warn that slashing the EPA budget could hinder efforts to clean up contaminated sites here in Indianapolis. Since abruptly closing last June, Williamson polishing and plating had become more than an eyesore. It had become a danger to the community, with the company leaving behind all sorts of toxic chemicals and hazardous materials. I didn't even know that they were closed until they were gone. But Joanna Le Noir knows the threat. She spent her whole life in the Seaside neighborhood a neighborhood surrounded by industrial facilities. Some, like the old American lead site, are still causing problems. A letter from the EPA says the lead levels in her yard are still too high. They plan to dig up her lawn and replace the dirt. Yeah, I'm worried because my, uh, my health has deteriorated, you know, didn't really think much about it. It's in her neighborhood in front of the old Williamson plant where environmental leaders warned about cuts to the EPA budget. This Williamson site is an example of the kind of agency action that is at risk if proposed budget cuts go through. Neither the county health department nor IDEM had the money for an emergency cleanup here. It fell to the EPA which spent 3.2 million bucks to remove vats filled with strong acids and cyanide. Those here say a 31% cut in the EPA's budget would have a devastating impact. There are hundreds of cleanup sites around Indiana. Fewer will be cleaned up, and cleanups will take longer if these cuts go through. And they say it would be neighborhoods like Lenoir's that would suffer the most. You take it one day at a time, and you can't do anything but hope for the best. And the proposed cuts wouldn't just affect cleanups of contaminated sites like this. There would also be less money for things like clean air and water initiatives and lead reduction programs. The list goes on and on, but it is subject to change. Remember, Congress still has to weigh in on all of this. John and Andrea. All right, we'll certainly be watching how it all shakes out. Mary, thank you. And a